The HemoQ Albumin 201 system consists of the HemoQ Albumin 201 analyzer and HemoQ urine albumin microcuvettes. The analyzer is factory calibrated and needs no further calibration. The system provides rapid, simple, and reliable quantitative determination of albumin in urine with excellent precision and accuracy. The system is designed for use at the point of care for the purpose of screening, for diagnosis, monitoring, and supporting the clinical evidence in the treatment of microalbuminuria. According to international and national guidelines, annual screening for microalbuminuria should begin after five years disease duration or at the age of 12 in individuals with type 1 diabetes and from the time of diagnosis for individuals with type 2 diabetes. Microalbuminuria is also suggested as a risk marker for cardiovascular complications and increased cardiovascular risk in hypertension. This film provides the basic instructions for routine use. Additional information can be found in the operating manual and package insert for the HemoQ Albumin 201 system. The microcuvette serves as a pipette reaction vessel and as a measuring cuvette. No dilution of the specimen is required. The albumin measurement takes place in the analyzer which follows the progress of the reaction and presents the result only when the end point of the reaction has been reached. The system is calibrated against a turbidimetric method with traceability to CRM470. Neither the analyzer nor the microcuvettes can be replaced by another brand. The HemoQ Albumin 201 analyzer and its accessories are delivered in a carton. Open the carton on a stable surface and lift out the operating manual, the quick reference guide, the training CD, the analyzer and the power adapter. The device for removing the cuvette holder can be found under the analyzer lid. Attach the power adapter to the power inlet at the back of the analyzer and to the AC power supply. Make sure that the lid on top of the analyzer is closed. Serial port. The analyzer can be connected to a printer. A printer can be used to print out the current result immediately after completion of the measurement. Previously obtained results cannot be printed. Note, only use ASCII printers. The analyzer automatically performs an electronic self-test every time the analyzer is turned on, as well as when the lid is closed in between two measurements. Press and hold the left button until the display is activated and all symbols appear on the display. The display shows the version number of the program. After this, the display will show three flashing dashes and the HemoQ symbol. This indicates that the HemoQ Albumin 201 is ready for use. The system can be verified by measuring a commercially available urine albumin control. Considerable variability exists in the types and production methods for liquid urine controls. Follow the control manufacturer's instruction for storage, mixing, and care. Note that local, state, or other accreditation agencies may require additional quality control testing. The procedure for analyzing a control is the same as for analyzing a patient sample.
The micro cuvettes are packaged individually and are to be stored in their package in a refrigerator. The cuvettes must not be stored in a freezer. Each individually packaged micro cuvette is stable until the expiration date, which is printed on each container as well as on each individual package. Use the micro cuvettes prior to their expiration date. Urine without additives may be used. Make sure that all supplies are at hand. The turbidity scale in the operating manual can be used to determine the level of turbidity. Hold the turbidity scale directly behind the sample. If the stripes can be clearly seen, proceed with the analysis. If the stripes are blurred, the sample should be centrifuged. Pipette a drop of urine onto a hydrophobic surface, for example, a plastic film. The cuvette may also be filled directly from the sample container, unless the sample is to be used for other analysis. The reagents within HemoQ urine albumin microcuvettes are moisture and temperature sensitive. Open the package as indicated on the back and carefully remove the cuvette. Use the micro cuvette immediately. Hold the cuvette opposite the filling end and bring it into contact with the urine sample. Fill the micro cuvette in one continuous process. If the micro cuvette is not completely filled, discard it and fill a new cuvette. Do not refill a partially filled cuvette. Fill a new cuvette. Wipe off any excess urine from the outside of the micro cuvette with a lint free wipe, making sure that no sample is drawn out of the micro cuvette during this procedure. Look for air bubbles in the filled micro cuvette. If any are present, the cuvette should be discarded and another micro cuvette filled for analysis. Open the lid and place the filled cuvette into the cuvette holder. This should be performed within 30 seconds after filling the micro cuvette. It is important that the cuvette snaps properly into the cuvette holder. Close the lid. During the measurement, an hourglass symbol and three fixed dashes are shown in the display. The result in milligrams per liter will be displayed within 90 seconds. Record the result. The result will remain on the display until the lid is opened. Open the lid and discard the cuvette. Close the lid. When the display shows the HemoQ symbol and three flashing dashes, a new measurement can be performed. that measurements below 5 milligrams per liter are displayed as LLL and measurements above 150 milligrams per liter are displayed as HHH. If the display shows an error code, an error has occurred. See the troubleshooting guide in the operating manual. Do not remeasure the cuvette. A new cuvette should be filled with sample. Although all the reagents are present in the cuvette in extremely low quantities, local environmental authorities should be consulted for proper disposal. Always handle body fluids with care, 
including urine samples, as they might be infectious. The analyzer is designed to work for a long period of time without any direct service or maintenance. The analyzer should be cleaned according to the following procedure. Check that the analyzer is switched off. The display should be blank. Open the lid. Using the device for removing the cuvette holder, press the area on the cuvette holder marked with arrows. Press the tab downwards and draw the cuvette holder towards you until it becomes detached. Clean the cuvette holder with alcohol or mild detergent. Let the cuvette holder dry completely before replacing it in the instrument. It is recommended that the cuvette holder be cleaned after each day of use. The optical unit should be cleaned when instructed to do so in the troubleshooting guide. A HemoQ cleaner or a cotton tipped swab moistened with water or alcohol without additives may be used. Insert the cleaner or swab into the cuvette holder opening. Clean the cover glasses with a sideways motion. If it is stained, repeat with a new swab or cleaner. When a new cleaner or swab comes out unstained, the procedure is completed. Wait 15 minutes before reusing the analyzer. Replace the cuvette holder. The cover may be cleaned with alcohol or mild soap solution.